and welcome back to Y254 in the morning. It's Wednesday, and if it's Wednesday, it's WCW, a segment where we celebrate women who are impacting positively in our society. You can engage with us on all our social media platforms at Y254 channel, engage me at Faith Msoli. And so, Miss World Kenya is back after a year break uh, due to COVID. And today we are talking about beauty and brains. To be specific, uh, uh, modeling in Kenya. And in studio today, we got a gorgeous woman, beautiful Miss Cooperative University. Her name is Anne Kamau. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a man when you look at as you've said. Uh -huh. Yes. So growing up, I had this fallacy that when you want to be a beauty queen, or rather a model, yeah. all you have to know is just walking in stilettos and all that. Is that what it all involves to be a beauty queen? No, that is not it. Uh -huh. You have you should have brains mm -hmm. we all have brains mm -hmm. it's not all about the work mm -hmm. you should be confident mm -hmm. you should have brains mm -hmm. yeah almost everything it's not all about the work mm -hmm. we are not looking at the work only we are looking at a lot of things mm -hmm. yes and so is this something that you have been practicing ever since you were a child or you just went to university <laughs> and then you decided this is what i want to be i want to be a model Actually, mm -hmm. I never thought of modeling when I was young. I was not into modeling when I was young, but people will tell me, you know, people are like, when you're slim, you should be a model. Exactly. So I was not much into modeling, but my parents have helped me, mm -hmm. like, to get where I am right now. It was my parents that were like, you should go to training. Mm -hmm. Actually, I can remember my, f my, my first day to attend training, mm -hmm. I was taken by my dad. And my mom usually calls whenever she wants me to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like, they're there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's, what's the process mm -hmm. that you have to go through to be a model? So the process you have to go through to mm -hmm. be a model. Mm -hmm. First of all, you should accept. Mm -hmm. Like you should accept you're going to modeling. Mm -hmm. You should accept that you'll face a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. And you should accept that you'll tackle all of them. Mm -hmm. Then you should, know, you should have patience. Before you start it, you should have patience because you'll face a lot of things, you know. Mm -hmm. Then you'll have to do training. Mm -hmm. Yes, you'll have to train. What kind of training? <laughs> you'll have to train how to walk on heels, mm -hmm. five inch and above. Then what? You'll have to train how to talk when there are, uh, where there are a lot of guys. Like you not like the way we are talking. Mm -hmm. You have to talk audibly that a lot of guys can hear you. Mm -hmm. Then you'll have to work on your confidence and courage. You'll have to work on those mm -hmm. and smile. And right. brains. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Do you really need to starve yourself to be a model? No. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do that. Uh -huh. Yes, because we have many types of modeling. Like there's pigeons mm -hmm. where you feel guys should, should starve. No. And we have commercial modeling where, where it's open for everyone. Like anyone can do commercial modeling. Mm -hmm. Anyone like... If you're thick, if you're thin, mm -hmm. short, tall, like commercial modeling tackles everything. Yeah, thick or thin, because nowadays we've got plus size models. Yes, we have plus size models, oh. and I'm very proud of them. I really love them, because that means they are confident enough to showcase what they have. Exactly. Yes. And so when you go into modeling, mm -hmm. like for you, you're Miss Cooperative University. Yes, I'm Miss Cooperative. What prizes? Or rather, what prize mm -hmm. came with the, the coveted crown? So it depends on the, and the title. And you've asked about Miss Cooperative specifically. Mm -hmm. We have different prizes. As in, you may be paid 15000 and above mm -hmm. when you've won. But with time, they pay you. And you have advantages. You'll have to go to trips when they go. You'll have to attend a lot of things so it's not all about the prices they give mm -hmm. but what comes after you get the, the title and mm -hmm. the crown okay yes so you get paid yes. you, you, are, you are rewarded uh, a prize yes. you're given a prize yes. but then again With you're time. like on a payroll yes all right so in, in Kenya mm -hmm. 
we've we've been having okay growing up i would watch let me say uh miss world kenya on television as in it was a glamorous thing it would be aired whenever the competitions were there yes. and then it was something that was so much followed but today it's like the tradition is dying out why do you think it's happening so i don't think the tradition is dying <laughs> uh -huh. i obviously can say it's dying uh -huh. because i feel okay as much as it's not aired as it used to be uh -huh. things will still happen right now it was maybe it was it was not aired on tv uh -huh. but in social media platforms other social media platforms mm -hmm. we watch the, the the event so maybe it's because right now there's covid we don't want a lot of guys in one room or one place so that was ma one one main reason is because of covid 19 and another one is because of support like a lot of guys are not supporting models like mm -hmm. No one is really supporting models. Mm -hmm. We want modeling to be on a higher scale, mm -hmm. but a lot of guys are not putting effort on it. We have a lot of models out here, mm -hmm. but supporters are so less. Why? Why do you think that not so many people, sponsors to be specific, are not coming on board? Is it because it's losing its glamour? Is it because it's not something as coveted as it was before? I feel it's because we've not convinced them as much as possible. Mm -hmm. We should show them what we can do and they should give in to what mm -hmm. we, 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 we want to show them. They should give us time to show them what we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I can remember mm -hmm. some times back, mm -hmm. uh, Cecilia Mwangi, yes. she was one of Kenyan's queens, mm -hmm. Miss World Kenya, sometimes back. And then she came up with a, a Jiggers campaign. Yes. And she did it even after, after, after the crown. She continued with the mandate of uh, eradicating Jiggers in, in her foundation. But you find that subsequently, other queens that have come after her. We are not hearing of them. So what, what's happening in the industry in that? The thing is, mm -hmm. the Jigas campaign was a big one. Mm -hmm. Like we've not heard of someone doing such a thing. Mm -hmm. So it was outstanding. Mm -hmm. It went places and she continued doing that. Mm -hmm. We have other queens and they are doing things that we've heard of. That is because they're not as unique as the Jiggers campaign. A lot of queens are doing pad drive out here. Mm -hmm. They're looking after kids with disability mm -hmm. and kids who are at the streets. Mm -hmm. So I feel Jiggers was something that we've never heard of. But pad drive mm -hmm. and looking after kids who are dis disabled and mm -hmm. who are at the streets mm -hmm. are things that we hear about. So that, that is why we can't, we can't hear. We can't hear of them. Yeah, we can't hear of them now and then. Okay. Yes. And uh, you find that in most cases, uh, uh, people will come for auditions, mm -hmm. like you. Yes. You went for auditions, and you are not just alone. Mm -hmm. You are so many people. Because I know that when you are competing, the beauty pageantry competition, people really come out. Because everyone is feeling like, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, I can do it. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the process is usually fair or it is whom you know when so it comes to judges? Exactly. So when we talk about auditions, mm -hmm. it's not about people you know. Mm -hmm. It's about your brains, mm -hmm. what you'll have to do and what you're presenting. Mm -hmm. It's not about... Because I know one thing mm -hmm. with beauty, it's all about or, or opinion. Mm -hmm. Like me and you, we are here. Yes. And then our camera person is the judge. Yes. And then uh, you find that chooses whatever. This, the cam our, our, our judge decides to choose me according to how she views me. Mm -hmm. Because beauty to her is in her, okay, she's the beholder of what beauty is. Yes. So you find that it's all about opinion, yes. what you think about this particular person, and you can use that opinion to influence other people. So you find that this one has got a positive opinion towards you, mm -hmm. then influences the judges to choose you. So that is why I'm asking, do you think that is usually fair? 
whoever wins, does he or she win fairly? Yes, because whenever someone wins, mm -hmm. it's, it means you're outstanding. You're 10 people, then one of you wins. Mm -hmm. why, why is the person winning and you've not won? Like all of you have the same walk, mm -hmm. you have the same smile, but you, know, you don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. Maybe the person answered the question correctly. But we don't look at the answer, we look at how you present your answer, mm -hmm. how confident you are, and how you answer it. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we say, uh, as the, the way you say that, the judge will look at things. Mm -hmm. Personally, I feel we look at beauty and brains. Mm -hmm. And to me, beauty is what you present to the world non-verbally. So mm -hmm. whenever you answer what you've been asked, try to tackle things that are happening in the world. As much as the question may not look at that, mm -hmm. try to think of that. Because we are looking at the society, and the society is anyone who's in need. Yes, in need of your help, that is it. Okay. Yes. So there was a time uh, in 2016, mm -hmm. there was a, a Miss World Kenya, yes. 2016, was decrowned. You remember? Yes. So apparently she was decrowned because she was not conforming to the rules and guidelines of being a Miss World Kenya, mm -hmm. and so she was decrowned. So what do you think, or what are these aspects that as a beauty queen, as Miss Cooperative University, you should conform to? to the public image for you to be that influential? First of all, I think it's all about respect. When you respect yourself, you mm -hmm. will present to peop to yourself to guys well. Mm -hmm. You will show them what to do, you'll mm -hmm. show them the steps they have to follow, and you'll have to present everything in a positive manner. You'll have, whenever you win such a crown, such a title, mm -hmm. people are looking at you all over, so you'll have to mind if you have to change, by the way. Mm -hmm. If you used to do drugs and stuff, you'll have to change. You'll have to be on a straight line because everyone is looking at you. Everyone is judging out here. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to change. So uh, we say you fake it till you make it. You'll have to start by faking it and eventually mm -hmm. you'll make it. As in you just, you won't be taking drugs when you have a You can't, you won't. You'll mm -hmm. have to be a good girl. Will you, will you just be faking it for the, for the crown? Or, okay, because... Mm -hmm. You say that you fake it till you make it yes. by your this drug addict and then uh, addict, sorry, and then thereafter, after you have been crowned, you go back to after after your reign, I mean, then you go back to your old ways. You see, when you practice something, mm -hmm. it gets into you. Mm -hmm. So I feel Faking it is you just have to change. You'll have to change to someone else who you are not. And mm -hmm. if you really respect your crown and your title, you'll have to change completely. You don't have to go back to who you are mm -hmm. because you've changed. You've changed and it's it. That is it. You've changed, no going back. As much as your, 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 your term has ended, mm -hmm. you'll have, you will still be working. People will know you are the Miss Cooperative 2021, 2022, mm -hmm. and and that means you'll have to you'll have to stay the one you 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 you've changed to a positive person mm -hmm. who inspires everyone to be positive, to live positively. Okay. Yes. So speaking of change, for you to be a a, a model, mm -hmm. or rather Miss Cooperative University, yes. you have to be someone who is relatable. Mm -hmm. What do I mean? You, you, you have a story that you can tell someone. Mm -hmm. it, it might be challenges, might be success stories, mm -hmm. it might be anything that can inspire this person. So what are some of these stories that you can stand before people and tell them and then someone says, I want to be like Miss <laughs> Cooperative University? Personally, mm -hmm. I don't have the stories people have, the stories that you will tell and people will cry. Mm -hmm. But I have something that I usually tell people, mm -hmm. that you should accept defeat. Mm -hmm. That is what models fail in. As in you just go to one competition, mm -hmm. you win in your way, own way. I call it winning in your own way. You didn't, you were not crowned. Then mm -hmm. you give up or you start saying it was corruption or stuffs. Mm -hmm. You don't give up. You'll have to move a step forward. Whenever you fail, you wake up. I'm usually, usually moved by, if you can't crawl, you'll have to walk. Mm -hmm. If you can't walk, run. Mm -hmm. If you can't run, fly. But in everything you do, just make sure you're moving. 
don't stay stagnant mm -hmm. just because you lost one event it doesn't mean you will lose forever you'll first have to accept that you lost mm -hmm. just accept mm -hmm. you won at your own way you just accept you won you 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 lost and you move on you'll have to practice more you'll have to have more confidence on yourself mm -hmm. work on your brains and everything will be flawless all right so how do you jungle between mm -hmm. being Miss Cooperative University and your studies because I believe you're still a student yes I'm, a st I'm still a student mm -hmm. so I'm still a student and I'm Miss Cooperative University mm -hmm. I have time for studies and time to work on projects. I have projects, obviously, because of the title. So I, when I, I tackle projects, usually at weekends, that is when we don't have classes and stuff. I don't want it to, 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 just, to just confuse, as, a, as in I don't want Miss Cooperative to forget about studies. I don't want to forget that I went to cooperative to study mm -hmm. and, and I just look at modeling. I just do modeling on weekends and I study on weekdays. That is it. Okay. Yes. Awesome. So what are some of the challenges that you have encountered as Miss Cooperative back in your hood and in the university? In my hood. Mm. In my hood, I've just said I have supportive parents, mm -hmm. so I don't have any challenge. Back at school. <laughs> Back at because, school. Because people be, be, uh, people be like, she's Miss Cooperative University. You they expect want more yes, from me. They, want, they expect more from you. <laughs> you know? Yes. So I feel like, yeah, people really expect more from me. Mm -hmm. And that was a challenge then, mm -hmm. because I really felt like I just have to reach to where they want me to get. Mm -hmm. As in they want me to do six inch every day, I'll have to do them. But then I feel well, if, if I just continued being what they want me to do, I'll suffer. Mm -hmm. There's no way I can be walking on six inch every day. Exactly. <laughs> I can't walk on six inch every day. Mm -hmm. So I just had to be myself. I really have to be myself. Mm -hmm. I know I'm, I'm a positive lady. Mm -hmm. and, and being yourself does not cost anything. Mm -hmm. And they'll accept eventually. And eventually they accept it. Like they, they're used to me like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not on crown every day. On a sachet, I'm just me. Actually, others don't know me. They, they will know me when I'm, I'm with other guys because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not so classy. Mm -hmm. I'm just simple and clear. That is it. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so we are in a society. Yes. Where ni, it's a society of kitu kidogo. Mm -hmm. So you find that mm -hmm. for you before you became Miss Cooperative University, mm -hmm. a lot happens yes. in the in the in the music industry wherever in our workplaces. You find that someone tells you to pull down your pants before you get whatever you, you want. Have you encountered such? No. Mm -hmm. I hear people talking about, that is like corruption in short. That mm -hmm. is what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I hear people talking about that a lot and I be, I'm a believer of God. Mm -hmm. I usually ask God not to let me pass through such things. Mm -hmm. I've never passed such, through, through such things. Mm -hmm. And I hear people saying that I didn't win because of corruption. Mm -hmm. Imagine if it was yours, it will eventually get to you. Mm -hmm. So if it didn't get you, just accept and move on. Don't, don't, don't drop your pants because of a crown. No, mm -hmm. there is another crown which is coming. Just give it time. Be patient. Don't rush. Don't rush. Would you uh, advise a young girl who is aspiring to be a model to just go ahead into it? Yes, that is if the girl is ready to be patient. Mm -hmm. if, you really, if you feel you'll be patient enough, mm -hmm. if you feel you won't drop your pants so that you can have a crown, go for it. Mm -hmm. Be patient. That is the only thing I can tell models. Be patient, be confident, accept yourself for who you are. Don't force issues. Mm -hmm. Be the one you are. Wow. Yes. So moving on, you talked about you doing community work. Yes. Talk about it. So whenever you win, mm -hmm you'll have to give back to the society. Mm -hmm. And as I've said, the society is your neighbor. Mm -hmm. And your neighbor is anyone who's in need of your help. You don't give back to where you belong. I can't just give back to cooperative university. Mm -hmm. I have to give, up, give, up, give out to students who are in schools that are there, mm -hmm. children's home which are there, and the society at large. Mm -hmm. So I, I, am in I have done social works. Mm -hmm. I have given back to the society. That is projects. I've done pad drives. Mm -hmm. I've talked to children, to girls mm -hmm. in 
high school, I've advised them mm -hmm. and I've visited children's home and I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to bringing up a home for children who are disabled because I feel we are not looking at them and they deserve a lot from us. They need a lot from us. Why disabled and not? Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Because when you hear about a lot of projects, mm -hmm. people talk about pad drives. Yes, ladies are suffering, mm -hmm. but we have people who are looking at that. And whoever who are looking at the pad drive should work on it a lot. Mm -hmm. We have others who are looking at the kids who are in streets, mm -hmm. but we have kids who are disabled. Mm -hmm. I believe no one, Akuna, no one want to be left with a kid who is disabled, mm -hmm. as in you're a parent, you have a kid who's dis disabled, you mm -hmm. want to go to work, you can't, you don't want to leave the kid to me, and I don't want the kid, by the way. Mm -hmm. The kid will just be there, and no, no one, I believe no one wants to be left with the kid, and the parent won't work eventually. Mm -hmm. So I want a home where the kid will be staying, even if, if it's like from morning, then the parent come for the kid in the evening. Mm -hmm. I will just love such a home so that the parent can have time to work mm -hmm. and look for food so that the kid can keep moving, keep growing. I just want that. Okay. Yes. So you're a student? Yes, I'm a student. And you're doing part drive. Where do you get the money? <laughs> So I'm a student, we, we have partnership, as in organization. We just approach organization mm -hmm. and we talk to them. People are heartful, people are not heartless out here. Mm -hmm. So you talk to guys and you just tell them what you want, what, what you want to get, where you want to get, what you've done. Mm -hmm. First, you, you begin with who you are, mm -hmm. what you want to present, and what you want them to offer to you. Mm -hmm. So whenever you just tell them, you want to give out to the society. I believe people, people, people really are there to help. Just talk to people, be genuine, be honest, and people are there. People are ready to help. Okay. Yes. That's so nice knowing that there are people out there who are touched by whatever you're doing. Yeah, people are touched. And they are willing to help. Very willing. So on uh, on a daily, daily, daily basis, mm -hmm. or rather what you do every day. You know you're a model mm -hmm. and people expect you to behave in a, a certain <laughs> way. Yes. So just to let our viewers who might be your fans or might be your neighbors, might, might be your friends know, does a model have to look good each and every day? Yes, I have to look good. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm, I'm dressed, I just have to look good. Mm -hmm. I have to look glamorous. Mm -hmm. Okay, as much as I, there's difference between classy and good. Mm -hmm. So as much as I won't look classy every day, I have to present myself well to the guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, not classy, but good. Okay. Or at times classy and good if you're able. All right. Yes. So it's a nice conversation. Thank you very much. And continue doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. We wish to see you one day in being Miss World Kenya. That is next year. Exactly. Yes. Because for you to be great today, you have to start with smaller steps. Yes, I have to. And start. so I want you to encourage a young girl out there, mm -hmm. or even a boy, because nowadays we've got Miss K M Mr. Miss Kenya. Yes. M but we didn't have one. Yes. Yes. So I want you to uh, encourage someone mm -hmm. who wants to venture into modeling and be great one, one time in, in, in the near future. Just look into that camera and say a word. So, hello. You want to be a model out there? I've just talked of patience. Be patient. Be patient. Don't give up. Don't listen to people who are talking about corruption. That will make you never accept lose. And if you don't accept lose, you will never win. You'll never go to a step forward. You'll never rise. And a queen, I'm a queen. I'm a queen. I'm, I'm the queen of cooperative university. And whenever you're a queen, you accept defeat. No matter what, you accept defeat and move on like nothing happened. So just don't give up. Train, train, train. Have brains, not just beauty. And beauty, you've said, is what you present to the world non-verbally. Be loving, be caring, present to the world what you can positively. Wow. So what a conversation. Mm -hmm. I know that now we have demystified mm -hmm. all the fallacies that come with uh, being a beauty queen, with being a beauty queen. Yes. And whoever wanted or whoever looks up to being a model has got one or two things. 
Thank you for whatever you're doing here at Y254. We celebrate you. And so, have you ever walked into a, rest uh, a restaurant and then just after getting into a restaurant, you're so hungry, it's lunchtime hour, and then you find someone already dining at the door. And then you walk in, you're presented with a menu, and then even before you look at the menu, you say, I just want to have whatever she's eating. Mm. And then after just one test of whatever she was eating, you realize this is not what I wanted. Mm -hmm. That is what life is in real life. You write your own script, but you don't read someone else's script. Take a step at a time. If you want to be Miss World Kenya, you have to start with Miss Cooperative University, yeah. for example. It's been WCW. I've been your host, Faith Msoli. Thank you for watching. Kayesu is up next with Girls Talk. <laughs>